All right, YouTube, what's up, man? Here we go with the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. All right? So this is the William Lacey Sr., a.k.a. K. Wood. This is his story. So we're up to no good. We're about to pull a jack on somebody. And we need a third person whose voice isn't totally recognizable, okay? So the first person we got was, I'm gonna use his name because he's doing life in prison on a murder. I don't think he'll ever get out, you know? So Tony Jenkins was the one that got shot in the house, okay? Now, we go and get K Wood. I don't get him. I don't know him. Ice gets him, right? Ice is like, yeah, I know somebody else that'll really get down, man. So he 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 introduces me to K Wood, right? So we get introduced to each other in front of my house on Eighth and Morgan. And then Ice leaves to go to his girl's house and it's just me and Kaywood and this is my first day meeting him and right away he starts telling me his war story and it was fucked up because he was at a house party and it was him it was Kay Wood and his boy Danzini, okay? Danzini was fucking some girl and that girl's baby's dad ran into Kay Wood at a party with his homies. So the baby's dad starts talking shit to K Wood about what he's gonna do to Danzini and flashes a banger on K Wood, right? So K Wood's like, fuck, man. He leaves, right? He leaves the party, but he doesn't really leave, he waits for the individual to come out of the house. Soon as he came out of the house, my boy jumped out of the bushes. He went for his banger and my boy wet him up. Two pistols. Boom, 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 boom. Unloads, I don't know how many bullets, but both clips, he dumps both mags into the individual as he's going for a banger. Just lays him the fuck down. Blows him away, right? His homies run off. This is where the story gets worse. The 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 baby's dad who got deceased, who got murdered that day. The girl that Danzini was fucking with now Danzini and the baby's mom Baby's dad is dead now, right? She turns on Danzini And tells The dead baby's dad's homies Where he lives They come and kill Danzini Watching TV in his living room Shot him in the head So Kay Wood's telling me this whole story I didn't know this story He's telling me this story and he's like, he was like sad. It was like, he wasn't proud of killing that guy. He felt like it was total self-defense and he had to do it. And the fucked up thing about it, you guys, is he should have just left and probably walked away. 
He should have told his homie, look, man, stop fucking with that bitch, dog. Go find another one. This dude's ready to smoke you over his baby's mom. Okay? But this isn't what happened. K. Wood stepped up, bodied the fool, and his homies came back and bodied Danzini within a short amount of time. So K. Wood felt like he really got Danzini murdered. That was the burden that he was carrying. Now, <laughs> this is the first day I met him that he told me this shit. And he was like, he just had so much remorse and regret and he was so confused. Mind you, he was born in 71. I was born in 78. So he's like six years older than me, seven years older than me. And I could never understood like, why did you just, dude, I could have, dog, you just confessed to me like I barely know you like how do you know you can trust me I didn't say this to him but this is what's going on in my mind like this guy's fucking trusting me with everything for some reason and I'm like what the fuck so I'm quiet right I don't even know what to say to him I don't have a rebuttal I'm just I think stunned you guys I, I don't know man so I feel like well, I'm just this watch I kind of feel like you guys that he wanted to die because he could have just left you guys he could have just left Minneapolis man and been okay probably you know but he stayed in Minneapolis and he stood his ground and he would walk around with the towel over his head so you couldn't see who he was. Dude was fucking militant. He was smart. He had a lot of fucking heart, man. But once he killed that dude, there was no way out of the situation for him, you guys. Once he made that decision, other things set in motion and it was weird because about a week later we were in front of his house discussing the jack right and I was just standing there and something happened to me that never happened before it wasn't deja vu because deja vu is pointless and it's meaningless, you guys. It's meaningless. Who's ever had deja vu and it meant something? It's meaningless. You know why? Because it's just flaws in the technology. It's time overlapping itself. Nothing is perfect. They've never had perfect technology. So in my opinion, when deja vu occurs, it's just a flaw. It's a flaw in the construct. Okay? It is totally pointless. So what happened this day was more of a vision. Like, I kind of saw into the future, but only for a brief moment. What I saw was people running out from both sides of K Wood's house unloading on us and then I realized like oh this isn't happening right now so what I did I got scared man I didn't know how to tell K Wood that I just seen you die I didn't need to tell him his life was in danger he knew that, but I couldn't tell him what I saw. I just went home, you guys. I got scared. And I went home.
About two weeks later, my phone rang and it was ICE. And he's like, damn crazy. They murdered K Wood last night. His body had 20 holes in it. He was shot by three or four people that lured him to the car. And then they all just upped and unloaded on him. He went for his banger, but they got him. They got him, man. And he went to the light. So, at the funeral, the day at the house, his brother was there. It's a hard story for me to tell. His younger brother was there. And he was like, damn, bro, you never let me come hang out with you. And I'm always trying to roll with you. I want to hang with you, man. Like, I want to be around my big bro. And, and his brother was like asking him why they didn't hang out more. Right? But I know why he didn't hang out more with his brother. He didn't want his brother to die too. He knew he was in some deep shit. But I always felt like I should have told him, man. How do you look at somebody and tell them, hey, homie, you about to die? I just seen it. Scared the fuck out of me, man. I went home. I went home. So at the funeral, his 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 brother obviously was there. When I saw his brother, you guys, when I saw his brother at the funeral, I didn't jump back, but I almost did. Like. Cause it like startled me like You were just the same dude Begging to hang out with your brother man And now he's in that box over there I remember his kids crying for him I want my dad other like it's always gonna end like this and she basically just said her piece you guys and then lightning struck the ground boom like 30 to 50 feet I can't ever remember it was close and it scared everybody but it was like nobody really reacted to it you guys and then it start, it struck, lightning struck the ground. And then it started to pour rain. And it ended the funeral like that. Right when his mom was done talking, lightning struck the ground. I shit you not. The people that were there at that funeral will be able to back this shit up. Okay? Now... When you go back and you look at my boy's obituary that was made previously to this day, obviously, right? 